can't discuss that. I mean, we find from the, the Ricky, who would like to regard himself as the physical alpha male in the thing, is going, oh, well, not like me. Uh, obviously, <laughs> could you have taken Ricky in a fight? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did have a little scuffle. No, no. It's, Ricky's, uh, Ricky's in a slightly different... He, he does things uh, and pretend. I do things in real life, and that's the difference, <laughs> I think. <laughs> That was very true. It is, it's very impressive, very, very impressive. If only there had been a task that could utilise this physical <laughs> thing. <laughs> no way, that looks a business. Welcome to the group train. <laughs> This is the Funky Squad. Get no dancing working. The group train working at core abdominal area. Well done, you. Well done, you. That is unlikely to be topped as the moment of the entire series. Uh, there was an angle there we didn't show before, like a low angle pointing up at your hips and you ground into it. What kind of, what, what of the video was that like? It was a weirdo. How did they talk him to do that? God knows. <laughs> Russell, were you impressed with this? Is it? I think it's good. It shows you don't take yourself too seriously. We saw another side to you. It's a very camp side. <laughs> <laughs> I thought glitter cannons were going to come out of your fist and Liza Minnelli was going to dance in the background. <laughs> it wasn't that groovy, though, was it? It was, a little bit, it was a little bit awkward. It's like when a geography teacher starts dancing at the school disco and goes, my chinos can bop. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun, you know. It, it, was, it was a laugh. I, I think it's good we saw that side to you, otherwise it would have been all quite straight-laced. Well, I don't think you did look uncomfortable. That was what was so great about it. Yeah. And the look you had, the very funny look in the boardroom, was in fact the same look we now know that you have when you've won as well. It was just like... <laughs> <laughs> same face for everything. <laughs> it becomes uncomfortable winning all the time, you see. <laughs> You're not a man who takes praise well <laughs> uh, that situation. OK, um, we're going to bring it back down to earth, unfortunately, this stage, because we have to show you the comments from Lord Sugar and your former colleagues and competitors. Azar, nice enough fellow, but he seems to be... Always complaining, but not actually doing anything about it. In the past, he's been criticised for not speaking up. Now he seems to be saying things for the sake of it. He slowed down the picking of the location. He kept coming onto the phone calls and asking questions, and no, there were no solutions at the end of it. It was really strange. It's quite apparent that he hasn't got a clue what he's talking about. He doesn't demand the respect of his colleagues. They tend to ignore him, as if he doesn't exist. That's why Azar had to go. <laughs> OK, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> it's more like a haunting. Particularly uh, <laughs> supportive there. <laughs> We, we all heard that. That's just me, my, my sixth sense. That wasn't just me who heard that one going, Ooh, I have business left on earth. Uh, avenge me. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> from the whole process now, what have you learned? Um, not to wear red shorts. That's a good, one. <laughs> That's a good general rule, isn't it, uh, for this thing? The, uh, you'll go back, to, obviously, to your own business, which is refrigeration, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. I mean, you started that with the redundancy package, I did, did you? yes, yeah. I took a redundancy package, started a, started a company, and um, six months into the process, six months into the, into the business, and kind of £1.8 million pounds later, I realised that, hey, I potentially got a business here. Um, now we kind of employ 18 staff. We kind of export to, to 11 countries. So, you know, we're, we're becoming a, a quite a decent sized organisation. OK, so you're all right. Yeah, yeah. not bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good advice, you know. You've bounced back uh, from this, which is important, like whatever. Oliver, you were setting up, I mean, you set up a one shop, presumably, first, or did you...? Uh, that's right, yeah, and, and in many ways it was quite similar to the task they had, which was I would go backwards and forwards to a, to a warehouse uh, with, uh, with, in my station wagon, buying stock when I had the money and selling it in, in really the identical fashion. 
And had you, you know, had you a particular plan of what you wanted to achieve with it, with the particular corner of the market you wanted to attack, or was it, was it again, something you, you saw what, went, what was selling? No, I just saw what was selling. No, there was, there was no big plan. It was just uh, seeing how it went. And how many shops do you have now? Now I've got uh, an online store. We've got 32 shops. Uh, we have to be special. We have to be different. We have to have a good reason to bring people in our shops. So we have to be exclusive. We have to have, we have, to have things that you can't buy elsewhere as well. Yeah. We're going to talk with the winning team. Uh, Nick was the winning project manager this week. This was despite having to manage both his team and his hair. I call him Hair Flip because he's got this hair that goes over his face and he'll just flick it like this. Your hair, your hair. And that's how I can just see it gradually increasing night by night. And as I look up, I'm not sure if there's a hedgehog on the bed or if it's Nick's hair. Too, you know? Nick's hair is crap. <laughs> just got out of bed and never bothered to do my hair, no. Nick, if you're listening, get it cut. I win my hair back and forth, I win more. <laughs> you know that thing? Yeah, I used to do that all the time. <laughs> all the time, Nick. <laughs> I used to twirl as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Russell, do you uh, play with your hair? I'm on, I realise I'm on thin ground. <laughs> <laughs> I look, I look a melted Lego man, don't I? <laughs> He's got a sort of little posh one direction type character, isn't he? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think his hair was that bad. He's, a, he's quite a good operator. The things he says, apart from, I know he was supposed to do, he, he didn't get the product dropped at the store, they went via the warehouse first. I do quite like him, I'm, I'm impressed with him. He was, he generally has been very impressive. Yeah, and he managed the, t I mean, he managed the team well this week. I mean, he clearly has sort of did it, and he does it in this sort of quiet way. I mean, I do quite like the fact that he's, He's being a leader without being kind of obnoxious. Otherwise, I think a lot of people in the show seem to think that, you know, it's a sort of the only way you show your leadership potential is by being really annoying. Is he impressive? Do you think he's going to do well? I like him, yeah. I think he's good. And actually, because he's a volunteer for both tasks, um, and in, in the first task, he, he, he was just the right balance, I thought, of putting his foot down when Stephen was trying to challenge him on the, on the price. Uh, uh, but also bringing the team together. So, no, I think he's been a good uh, project manager. And the fact that he looks like Justin Bieber wouldn't work against him. <laughs> <laughs> you could see his face, it really, maybe. You think he's actually hiding? You think it's, not, it's not that part of the mystique, though, that you just do that and go, hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in, is that technically a fringe, by the way, that he has? Or is that actually the back of his hair just moved forward? <laughs> and, what if the wind came up and it's all a comb over? That's the dream I had. <laughs> but the whole thing just goes, thump, and he's completely bald. <laughs> <laughs> Gabrielle had a good week as well, I thought. Uh, we've seen Gabrielle be very creative in the past, and she was so again this week finding new uses for a pair of beard trimmers. We are desperately struggling with these beard trimmers, mainly because the majority of the people here are women, so we've kind of moved over from beard trimmers to a bikini line trimmer. <laughs> I have, with respect, ladies, never heard it called a beard before. Uh, <laughs> there, but I haven't, and maybe you have. Uh, this is the really witchy... The, the noise you put on the end of that, it doesn't do justice to this. That <laughs> genuinely is the noise of that. Would, you know, I'd be nervous if near my face, <laughs> but near somewhere I really treasured. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, that's quite agricultural. <laughs> uh, <as laughs> hedge trimmer. Hedge trimmer? I've oh. never heard it called a hedge either. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I love the way you've made a peacock. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> topiary. <laughs> yeah, topiary is the uh, topiary trimmer. I'm loving the fact that you can also alter the length of it. The blade one by two, you just twist that up. Which makes a lot more sense when it's a hair trimmer than for the ladies. Uh, <laughs> you go for the 1970s look? Oh, yeah. And slowly you work your way through the decades. I could go on about this shit forever. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mind you, it's great to see uh, like a bit of old classic old shtick being used. Here. Stephen and Ricky got to unveil their old famous double act doing the time honoured bad back routines. <laughs> Morning. Stephen and I both got a bit of the gift of the gab. We've got some domestic items to sell to you. Excuse the feedback. This one, I'll do the whole bad back trick, to be honest with you, mate. Have you got a bad back, Stephen? Unbelievable, Ricky, to be honest, mate. So your back is hurting? It's killing me. I've got a cure for that back. All right. Blue Supermop. 
Bring you true colour, men and women. It's going to take the world to buy a storm. How's your back? Mate, it's killing me. We can get to the ceiling, we can get to the floor, we can get to the walls, we can get to the side. We track women, attract men, whatever you fancy. Why are you trying to tell me things that I know before you were bleeding bald? Who trained you? We might even give you a cuddle. Is there anything you need from my school here today? You might be angry. <laughs> I don't know what she thinks is going to get out of him. He's got a bad back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it's true at all. Were you impressed by the double act? I like the way she lowered his self-esteem and then tried to pull him. That's what <laughs> we normally do. <laughs> You're really ugly. Get in the van! <laughs> 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 um, but, yeah, I mean, they, 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 made a, they didn't really make a good double act, did they? Um, who's going to buy a, uh, uh, an issue play about mops? Damn, the phone was so hard-hitting, Gavin. You must see it. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Who's playing the mop? <laughs> I will. <laughs> Have you enjoyed Ricky across this process? Think he's... No, I like Ricky. I think he's got a good balance of... Uh, I mean, you know, he's very confident and he lets you know about it. Um, he, but he handles himself very well. He's handled himself well in the, uh, the boardroom when he was under quite a lot of pressure. Uh, I'm not really sure we've seen him deliver much, mm. so I'm, I'm, I'm not sure there's how much substance there is, but I think, you know, it, it, he has, he's handled himself well, so I, I, I like Ricky. OK, it's time uh, for the vote now, uh, so let's see what the panel thought first. Oliver, do you think Lord Sugar got it right in firing Azar? Um, I, I probably would have, uh, I would have probably kept you. OK, and who'd you have fired instead? Uh, Jade, yeah. Jade, OK. I think I, I think I would have fired you, but it was this difference that you pointed out, the difference between looking at the series and looking at the way you played in the boardroom as a whole rather than just the task. Because it was, it was sad that you had basically got the task right and she'd got it wrong. Russell? Yeah, it's, it's that thing. Do we judge it based on the whole series experience or the fact she messed it up so much? And I think she would have been fired up until the point she said, I'll start lots of companies and all of them will make millions. <laughs> <laughs> and, that came, and you had to be fired. Just for, she just sold herself better in the boardroom. And that's why, that's why I probably would have fired you just based on that. OK, grand. That's tight enough, though. Let's go to the audience. If you agree with Lord Sugar, hold up fired. But if you disagree, hold up hired. Mm. Oh, I have to say, that's Johnny Green. You're coming out hired on that one. Well done. Very, very good. OK, well done. Azar. Now, we like to give our guests something to remember us by. I uh, really think this is the most ridiculous. There's no way we could possibly let you leave here, Azar, without taking home the red shorts. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, they're yours. They're, Thank you very much. You made them your own, you know? They have, I presume, been washed since because I just <laughs> reached in and grabbed them there. Seven great weeks as our Here are your highlights. They call me the master puppeteer because I have a habit of pulling people's strings and getting them to do what I want. I'm a thrill seeker. I like stress, I like pressure, and I like to perform the best. Absolutely unique. It's not available anywhere else. I'm a doer, I get involved. Me balls? No. People describe me as a killer whale of a sea world. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very cool guy. He's a very calm guy. Really genuine. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Azar City. That's all from us for tonight. Many thanks to my guests. As are, we'll be on BBC Breakfast tomorrow morning. And if you want more, go to our website at bbc.co.uk forward slash apprentice, where you'll also find Matt Edmondson's funny bits. Next week, the candidates get arty, but who'll be giving the brush off? Started off like a bit of a natter. It has a bit of a criminal element. I think we'll take off our tyres. Run that past Gabby. Yeah. Not looking for the Turner Prize, then. More like the Turnip Prize. They must have a pig. Wow. Workman, alien, peeing on another workman. I wouldn't pay for that. Why didn't you get pure evil? Seven seconds! A masterclass in how not to treat a corporate client. Everything's right, but it's gone wrong. 
Mm. See you at the same time next week. Good night.